medieval incarnate. This is Pinhead, the grisly star of Hellraiser 1 and 2. While the tormentor of human souls terrorized hell the first two go-rounds, this time he'll walk the earth, more specifically the streets of Greensboro and High Point. The last film banished Pinhead from hell. This time he'll cross the gateway to earth through this pillar at High Point's boiler room bar and grill. The latest film promises more spectacular effects than ever before. Producers scouted the area while filming the sequel to Children of the Corn and found the Piedmont had everything they needed. Today's scene is filmed at the bar. Even the name holds a double meaning as patrons will literally boil in hell on earth. Over the years, the films have developed quite a cult following. Writer Peter Atkins had so much fun developing the plot, he even has a minor role. It's fun writing to scare people. It's great. I mean, I like to get scared. It's a fun thing. But hopefully with a serious side to it. You know, horror movies are about good and evil, about life and death. They confront more easily, I think, certain issues than other movies can. Um, they do it metaphorically, but that's what they're about. And I think half of the appeal of them is that serious side as well as the fun side. And the action isn't limited to Hollywood actors. Hundreds of local faces will hit the silver screen. While some went through makeup, others waited anxiously for the scene to begin. While this empty room may look nothing like a horror scene, this is where one of the biggest scenes in the movie will take place. Movie makers need 500 to 800 people to come out and fill this area up for a ballroom scene, a chance for High Point to go Hollywood. Excuse me. Can I help? Um, I'm looking for a pretty girl. JP Monroe, that way. It's once in a lifetime experience. Uh, it gives everybody here an opportunity to come and be in a movie and spend a night with the movie crew. Uh, a lot of my friends ask them come on the set, they want to see a movie being shot, and I tell them be an extra. And you're an extra and you're on the inside looking out and uh, nobody's going to put you out. The Monday night shoot calls for women in bright 60s and 70s era clothing Men should go for either the leather or the yuppie look. I'm supposed to be one of the big bouncers in it. And I'm really thrilled about it. Excited. I'm meeting a lot of people, a lot of producers and everything. He does really well. That's what I mean. <laughs> I mean, we're just having a good time. And hey, if somebody in Hollywood wants to discover me, I'm here. But if you can't make it to hell Monday night, it probably won't be your last chance. Filming should last six to seven weeks.